different fabric. You got cotton, you got wool, you probably got some polyester or whatever. And all of that is causing friction, which stresses out the ends of your hair, leading to breakage. So What's going on? Super excited for this video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you are here. I am a cosmetic chemist and I'm here to help you understand your hair ingredients and products all from a cosmetic chemist perspective. And I also help entrepreneurs our hair care lines as well. And today we are talking about why your hair has not grown past shoulder length. Why are you stuck? at shoulder length. I promise you it is not a coincidence. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing some solutions. Why, well first of all, why, the cause, but also some solutions to get over that shoulder length hump, okay? So you guys know I'm with Anytime, let's get started. Okay, so when it comes to our hair, like our hair, okay? I always say that the ends of our hair is the most fragile. They're very fragile, they are the oldest part of your hair. Now, in the makeup of our hair, the biology makeup of our hair, you have the cuticle and you have the cortex. That's just, just to keep it simple. But we're gonna focus mainly on the cuticle. Now, in the cuticle, there are different layers. And as our hair ages, these layers tend to diminish and get thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner. And you probably can see that if you were to braid your hair right now, you'll notice that this part of the hair is probably much more thicker, like a thicker braid. But the longer it gets, it gets kind of thin and it thins, right? That's because our hair is aging and that's just what happens over time with just maintenance, styling, damage, that plays a role too. Now, some of the causes. This is a big one. And this is something that I had to overcome back way back when. But shoulder friction is a thing. So imagine you have this very fragile, elderly, weak part of your hair constantly rubbing against your shoulders. You got different fabric, you got cotton, you got wool, you probably got some polyester or whatever. And all of that is causing friction, which stresses out the ends of your hair leading to breakage. So it's like, no matter how much hair you got coming up out of here, as soon as it gets down here and rubbing against your clothes, it's like breaking. So. What you want to do is consider protective styling. Buns, if you can put your hair in a bun, if it's down here, more than likely you can put your hair up into some type of bun. If your hair is not long enough to put your hair in a bun, you can get a fake bun. But the whole point is protecting your ends. That's the biggest, biggest thing. And even if you're like, well, I can't put my hair in a ponytail to make a bun, even just putting your hair up, as long as it's up in some form, fashion, and off of your shoulders, that's going to be a big, big improvement. So that's number one. The second thing is going to be dryness. Now this is a huge culprit, especially in our community. So we need to really incorporate more moisture into our hair. You'll be surprised how many people I talk to who say, oh, I only moisturize my hair once a week or once every two weeks. Now for some people that could work for them, but for the most of us, we need to moisturize our hair multiple times throughout the week. And I always say it like this, like our, our, our hair is like our skin. If we go too long without putting lotion on our skin, we're gonna see the effect. We wanna see some dryness, some flakiness, some itchiness. The same applies to our hair. So adding more moisture to your hair on a daily basis can be very helpful. I moisturize my hair every two days, that helps me. You know, but you gotta find that rhythm, find that cycle, be consistent with it and you will see a huge difference when it comes to length retention and breakage. Also incorporating deep conditioning treatments. I think doing conditioning twice a month is amazing. If you want to do it once a week, that's fine too, but twice a month is a good sweet spot, I would say. Okay, and the third and last thing I want to share is how you style your hair. How we manipulate our hair, whether it's through brushing or combing or braids or whatever it is, that also plays a huge role in the breakage that we are experiencing that can lead to our hair staying at um, shoulder length. So be mindful of your styles. Braid outs and twist outs are low manipulation styles because you're still dealing with your hair, but you're not constantly pulling at it. You're not putting a lot of heat on it. You're not doing damaging practices to it. Or you can do total protective styling where your ends are completely tucked away. Like for example, I have a headband wig on right now. Okay, so you can't see my hair. You can't see my ends. My ends are nestled safely, moisturized in between somewhere in my hair, okay? They're tucked away, so they're not on me. I'm protecting my hair. Braids are another great way, but just make sure whoever installs them, they're not doing it super tight, causing any trauma or stress on, you know, your edges or your nape. Long story short, I know I said a lot of different things, but consider these different things that could possibly be hindering your hair from growing past shoulder length. And one more thing before I go, I wanna say, be mindful of your nutrition, because that plays a role too. That plays a huge role. How are you eating? 
Are you getting your fruits and your veggies? Are you getting your protein in? How's your iron levels? How's your vitamin D levels? All of that plays a huge, huge role. So keep that in mind. And also get on a good vitamin, <laughs> a good B complex vitamin. Um, I'll post the one that I recommend in my Amazon store, but a good B vitamin will take you so far, especially for your hair and your skin and your overall well-being as well. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new, especially when it comes to getting past shoulder length. I promise you it takes time, but it can be done. I've been there, you know, I've been there and it can be done. So you can do it. You can do it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like this video. If you are new to my channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell to stay in the loop for more quality chemistry content. And of course, I do have a question for you. Since we are in January 2024, brand new year, or whenever you're watching this video in the year, whatever, what is your current hair care goal for this year? What is your goal? What are you trying to accomplish? Maybe it's longer hair, maybe it's healthier hair, maybe it's you know growing in your edges, maybe it's to have better ends, less split ends, I don't know. But whatever it is, comment below. Let us all know, and I cannot wait to have a conversation with you. And if you wanna learn more about your hair from a cosmetic chemist perspective, definitely check out these amazing curly chemistry resources up here. These are eBooks designed and crafted for our hair type. Definitely check out my newest eBook, which is the Ultimate Hair Care Product Cheat Sheet. If you're having a hard time finding hair care products for your hair and you're wasting time wasting money whatever it is I've taken out the hard work for you and selected some amazing products from my experience as a cosmetic chemist for your hair type from hair growth oils shampoos deep conditioners anything you can think of is in this book so definitely check it out and of course I have more information about it below in the description box if you would like one-on-one -on -one hair care coaching with me I would love to connect with you one-on-one -on -one where I can hear more about your personal hair care challenges and I can create a customized hair care plan including customized products just for you and you'll find more information about that below in the description box and last but not least if you're ready to start your own hair care line where you are in the world whether you are an entrepreneur an aspiring entrepreneur i would love to connect with you one-on-one -on -one to give you guys the resources the steps the tools all the things you need to really start your hair care line the correct way even optimize your formulas whatever you need i'm here to help and of course i have more information about that for you below in the description box all right guys i love and i'll talk to you guys soon bye